Hey, thanks for stopping by my channel. In this video, we're gonna talk about a few different things that I regularly hear people say or comment that I think you need to kind of change your thinking on in order to be successful or at least help you along the journey in becoming a cybersecurity professional or switching careers. Because a lot of what you're going to encounter in the world of cybersecurity and learning and struggling to get to where you want to be is going to be mentally how you approach things and if you're able to just continue pressing forward when things are really difficult and you're struggling. So let's go ahead and look at three red flags. The first red flag that I often hear is I want to get things done the fastest way or I want to have the perfect roadmap and this is really normal for people to want. This is something that I wanted and pretty much anything that any of us do, we're going to want to get things done the fastest most effective way but this is just really not realistic in the world of cybersecurity. your journey is going to be more like a kid eating spaghetti it is going to be very messy and you're going to make mistakes along the way and you're going to have to change the way you go about your study habits and what you're studying as you continue to learn just be aware that things are going to need to change and it's going to be a little bit messy from time to time as you are studying and you're trying to figure out what exactly you want to do in the field of cybersecurity, and maybe your motives and your desires shift and change and your interests aren't always going to be the same. So just know that it's going to be a little bit messy as you are going along through this journey. I like to think of finding a career in cybersecurity kind of like being an entrepreneur. I have a few entrepreneur friends and they are very creative in the way they think. And when I talk to them about their experiences, they basically tell me that college is a waste of time. When they were younger and they wanted to start being entrepreneurs or they had ideas for starting a business and some of them went to college and they thought if they took a bunch of classes in a very specific order with a roadmap that was laid out for them, that they'd be able to get things done faster and be able to start a business. The problem is for those who want to be business owners, college really doesn't prepare you for that. It kind of prepares you to be like a manager of a business, not necessarily the owner of the business because the owners of the business are generally very creative and they're able to identify gifts that their employees possess and put them in the right seat on the bus. And they're able to give them the right tasks in order to fit their personality in order to make the business flourish. You don't learn these types of things in college. And I think learning in the field of cybersecurity is going to be different for everyone just like the world of entrepreneur whatever business you're going to be starting or whatever you'd be working in is going to be different for every single person and so it is with your journey in cybersecurity there isn't going to be no clean cut roadmap that is a one size fits all just know that you're going to be able to take a roadmap and be able to shift it into your interests and as you continue to learn it's going to continue to need to be shifted and kind of a point number two to this like a 1.2 in this red flag has to do with your mindset in desiring to be successful in this field. One of my favorite quotes from one of my friends who is an entrepreneur goes like this. I started to be really successful when I started to realize that the cup is not half full and the cup is not half empty, but the cup is out to get me. And I have asked him to clarify this and he told me that there are a million other people out there that want the exact same thing as you. In his case, they wanted to start a business just like his, but he had to be a little bit different. And in the field of cybersecurity, you have to be creative. You have to be able to think creatively. And there are going to be a lot of people out there that probably tell you you can't do this or it's going to take too long or it's too late in life or you're too young. And you're just going to have to deal with that and keep on moving forward. And you're going to have to figure out how to be a little bit different and carve out a niche in this space that makes you look different on a resume or on a portfolio so that potential employers will find you interesting. And I can't tell you what that is that is something that you're going to have to develop on your own but just know that there are a million other people out there that want the same thing as you and, and what can you do to be a little bit different so in conclusion of point number one i would suggest that you definitely have a roadmap have a roadmap of what you want to study and how to reach your goals but just know that your roadmap is going to change and when you hit bumps and you become a little depressed or you're starting to struggle uh, mentally with whatever you're trying to retain just know that you might have to change your roadmap a little bit and then just keep moving forward but I would definitely suggest having a roadmap just know that it's not going to be the same for everyone and everyone's interests are going to be a little different and everyone's end goals might be different as well but you should definitely spend some
some time and figure out a roadmap and then get started. And my question to find out red flag number two from people is, are you subscribed to my YouTube channel? If the answer is no, then obviously this is a red flag and you should go ahead and do that. But all joking aside, my question for red flag number two, when I meet somebody and I am talking with them about getting into the field of cybersecurity, I like to just ask, what are you reading right now? And where are you practicing your hacking or programming skills? And at this point, I will usually hear something like, I have a plan, I plan to practice here, I have this book I'm gonna read. And my question wasn't, what are you going to do? It is, what are you doing right now? You need to be doing something like right now. You have a roadmap, you need to actually start the roadmap. So a lot of people will have a plan, but they don't ever enact on it. They always kick the can down the road and say, I'll do this in the future, or maybe tomorrow is a better day, or today was just really rough. The point is you need to actually get started. Even if it's five minutes today, you need to just start reading a blog or try and find somewhere to practice CTFs or just try to do something on your specific roadmap. So red flag number one was have a plan and know that it's going to change. And number two is actually do something with that plan, like start today. So that is the first two red flags. And red flag number three is not considering what potential employers are wanting out of employees. I will meet people regularly who are really good in one area of cybersecurity or they're very interested in one area of cybersecurity and they absolutely love it. But the problem is there's not really going to be any kind of job in that area of cybersecurity. I met with somebody maybe six months ago and they specifically love playing around with the vulnerabilities and old systems, even in like an old Windows 7 computer, playing around with different vulnerabilities. The problem is you can play around with Windows 7 all you want, but there is no one going to hire you because you're a Windows 7 expert. You need to consider what future employers are actually wanting to get out of a employee. And this may not be something that you're very interested in. So I would suggest if there is something that you're very interested in, like SQL injection, become an expert in SQL injection, and then put that in your resume, but know that you're going to have to be really well rounded. And that is why certifications are a really big deal in the field of cybersecurity, because it kind of shows that you are well rounded and you're not just an expert in one thing or something that is out of date. And if you are self-taught or you're trying to develop your roadmap, I'm gonna go ahead and leave a roadmap link in the description. It will be the first link in the description and then the links to my two courses that are going to help you get started. So you can just start somewhere today and they will be right below the roadmap link. They'll be the first three links in the description. So if you have any questions, please let me know and I'll try to respond to those as quickly as I can. Thanks for watching.